You fruity booty little movie star wannabe. Whoa! Fruity booty! You wanna run your mouth, boy? You do it to my face. You hear me? And so help me. I will beat some respect into you and your big bad boyfriend in that ring tonight. You just got told, gentlemen. What's going on, Godzilla Nation? This is our Godzilla. We are back with more WWE SmackDown vs. Raw 2007 Season Mode. <sighs> that was a mouthful. Let me catch my breath. Thank you for joining me as always. We are picking up the action where we left off in the last episode. We defeated JBL at No Mercy. And now we're going to follow up on that. Check it out. It's our World Heavyweight Champion. Oh, man. I'm so impressed. Dude, can I kiss up to you and get a title match just like JBL did? Yeah, seriously. How can you be so thick? You gotta know that JBL's just been sucking up to you so we can get that World Heavyweight title, right? You know, that's none of your business, dude. He's had plenty of chances to stab me in the back, and he hasn't. That just means he's saving it. I still don't You're trust like him. You're the only guy in the locker room who doesn't realize JBL's setting you up. Oh, really? Calling me a liar? Is that what you're saying? You fruity booty little movie star wannabe? Whoa! Fruity booty! You wanna run your mouth, boy? You do it to my face. You hear me? And so help me. I will beat some respect into you and your big bad boyfriend in that ring tonight. You just got told, gentlemen. JBL's ready to throw down. Looks like we're going to have a tag match on our hands, ladies and gentlemen. Eminem taking on JBL and your, yours truly. I was about to say yourself, but uh, you ain't playing this, I am. Shawn Michaels. I really dug Eminem when they first, like, debuted on the scene with WWE. I always have preferred Johnny... Johnny Nitro in this. John Morrison. Whatever you want to call him. Well over Joey Mercury. Not even a competition who the better athlete is. It's a little bit of a shame that since Morrison's come back to the WWE, he's been underutilized. I love the fact that he's gotten back with The Miz and they're doing their thing, but... Morrison is a main eventer. He's got the capacity to carry SmackDown or Raw on his shoulders. I reckon he should get a push for the SmackDown... I was going to say World Heavyweight Championship because we're playing this game. But in real life, get a push for that uh, Universal Championship. Taking their sweet ass time to celebrate in the ring, aren't they? They love lapping up the attention from that red carpet uh, paparazzi that followed them out to the ring. But at any rate, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to get this match underway. This is home to SmackDown action tonight. I'm Michael Cole here with Taz at ringside. And what a show we've got for you tonight. Absolutely I still don't trust JBL. I'll catch you up on what's been going down in case you have missed any episodes along the way. Basically, we got traded to the SmackDown a couple of episodes ago. JBL came up to me, introduced himself, said if I need anything... He's there to help. And he's kind of been in our corner ever since. He came out one episode of SmackDown. And he said that he realized I didn't have an opponent for the upcoming pay-per-view. Can I be his opponent? And I said yes. And we got the match underway and I beat him. He hasn't jumped me yet. But this is JBL we're talking about. I'm 100% certain he will drop me the second he gets the chance. Speaking of getting dropped, can we get the pin? You son of a bitch. How long is he going to be able to stay in the ring? Ref, get him out of here. That's rope break. Oh, here we go. Let's make him tap out. He's going to get the rope. 
That's fine. I can hold on to this for as long as I need to. Hey, JBL, how about getting in the ring and giving your mate a hand? Thank you. Okay, we've got Johnny, I was going to say Mercury. We've got Johnny Morrison in a position here to take him out. I'm, I'm not going to say Nitro. I refuse to say Nitro. It's John Morrison, goddammit. Do we try to get him into the uh, sharpshooter from this position? Because if we do, I reckon I can make him tap. Let's go for the finish. It's going to take Mercury a little bit to get in the ring to break this up. Oh, tap out, bitch. Tap out, bitch. Yes! Ladies and gentlemen, that's how you kick an episode off strong. Continuing to make waves on the blue brand since we landed on their shores. With that being said, I'm still curious how this is going to plan out. What is next for us? We do have a message to read. Okay, I've set up a match. Okay, I've set up a match for you against Nitro tonight, and JBL's got a match with Mercury. Try not to rough them up too bad because I've got plans for them at Survivor Series. And speaking of Survivor Series... JBL just floated the idea of the two of you having a rematch for the World Heavyweight title. i got to say, the match you two had at No Mercy was great, and I'd be up for the rematch at Survivor Series. See, he's kind of gone behind my back to set up this match. Do you choose to accept a rematch? Yes, JBL's actions have earned him another shot at the title, and I'm fighting champion. No, JBL has been an ally, but he had a great shot at No Mercy. Bring on a new challenger. I'm, I'm going to give him another chance. I want to see how this storyline plays out if we do give him another chance, as opposed to taking it away. Because the easy thing to do by taking opportunity away from him is to jump me, right? But what if I give him opportunity? Speaking of opportunity, I'm about to get an opportunity to pin Johnny Morrison not once, but twice. Well, not pin, because I made him tap out, but defeat him at any rate. Because coming up next, ladies and gentlemen, it's Johnny Morrison taking on Shawn Michaels in singles competition. Let's see if we can put him away just as quick as we did in the tag match. Kind of refreshing being able to play a wrestling game and hear a live crowd. Because what we've had to watch over the last few weeks, not just with WWE, but AEW and all the other companies that are still televising their events, it's um, incredibly removed from what we're used to seeing. And whatever analogy you wish to use, clean slate, clean plate, whatever it is, I think they would have been better off going with that and just doing what other sporting organisations have done worldwide and just put things on hold. I understand they're a business, they're there to make money as well as, you know, their superstars and everything else, but it just feels different. Like, I still feel Drew McIntyre, he's always going to be remembered for, as being the guy who won his very first championship in an empty arena, and I think he deserves more than that. I know the global climate right now is to be, you know, to be blamed, and, you know, you can't blame the company itself or you can't blame the superstars at hand but I still feel a lot of other options could have been weighed up at any rate I'm just hoping this global crisis comes to some sort of a head sooner rather than later and we can get a little bit of normality back because there's definitely nothing normal about what we're dealing with right now people that's for damn sure and in saying that I hope everybody at home that is watching this video right now 
you safe and sound. Your family, your friends, the same situation. I deeply care about each and every one of you, and I sincerely hope you're getting through this as comfortably as anybody else. Okay, we've got ourselves a little bit of a sweet chinny chin chin up the sleeve here. Might be time. It might be time, ladies and gentlemen. Tune up the band. Everyone at home, say it with me. Sweet chin music. Do you reckon that was enough to get the win? Do you think it was enough? I don't think it was. Probably if I pinned him a little bit sooner, but... Are we about to win off the, the body kick? Oh, thank God for that. It still amuses me to high extents that a body chop or a body kick like that can just knock out a superstar. Oh, it's time. Can we get the double tap out back to back? Come on. He's holding on a lot better than I thought he would. Oh, it's time. Oh, he's just reversed it. You are kidding. One. Two. Oh, I thought I had a three count. I thought I had the goddamn three count. Come on, Johnny. You look a little bit worse for wear, my friend. Might be time for the sharpshooter again, my friends. He's got the rope. He's got the rope. One. Two. Okay. Johnny keeping the crowd entertained at least. That's for damn sure. Let's go up top. Let's go for the moonsault. One. Two. You're done. Put it in the bag now, ladies and gentlemen. Second time. Sweet chin music. One, two, three. And your World Heavyweight Champion just keeps finding ways to get it done. Keep lining them up. I'll keep kicking them down, ladies and gentlemen. I wonder who they're going to dish up to us next. Are they going to dish Mercury up to us? It sounds like Teddy Long has ideas to put these guys in some sort of tag team affair when it comes to the pay-per-view. At least we know now as well what our pay-per-view outlook is going to be. We're going to be taking on JBL again. Ladies and gentlemen. We are taking on one of the most unique superstars to ever step in the ring. And say what you want about this man. But I found him thoroughly entertaining during his run with the WWE. Do it. Smash it on your head. I remember back in the day, the amount of boogeyman season modes I would play just by myself. I always used to play as superstars that had gimmicks like that. So back when Shut Your Mouth and Here Comes the Pain first came out, the Hurricane was a superstar I always used to love to play as. 
And when the SmackDown vs. Raw titles came out and the Boogeyman was available, he was always one of the ones I'd go for. Because I just found the concept entertaining of giving, you know, belts and storylines to people that normally wouldn't get them and give them a chance. And the shit this man did for the camera, holy shit. As far as gimmicks and performers go, he is well and truly up there with some of the best. I can comfortably assure you all of that. But it's time to get this match up underway. Now that I've talked him up being a good gimmick and good performer, uh, it shouldn't take us too long to actually put him away realistically here. We're rated a hell of a lot higher than he is. And that's going to play a huge factor in this match. Let's just get some stamina back here. And now we'll continue to throw down. How many can we fit in? One. Two. Let's go for five. Yeah, we can get five. Now we just get a little bit of that stamina, stamina back. Oh. Oh, the Boji man. He's starting to fire back, but it's not. It's all for naught, ladies and gentlemen. It's already game over because uh, it's time already. It is time already. Say it with me. Sweet chin music, baby. Nice of JBL to accompany us to, for this little uh, squash match as well. Come on, ref. One, two, three. It's like sending a lamb to the slaughter. A little bit of a sacrificial... Uh, Take down there, heading into the pay-per-view. Oh, I like how the uh, announcer managed to squeeze JBL's name in there. I didn't see him do anything. But Shawn Michaels just continues the streak, ladies and gentlemen. I really hope you guys have been enjoying this adventure, this journey, this tale, whatever you'd like to call it. But whatever you do call it, this is where this episode comes to an end, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining me as always. When we return, I think it'll be time for the Survivor Series pay-per-view. I'm not 100% certain, don't quote me on it, but fingers crossed we could have another title defense go down in the next episode. I hope you guys are keen for that. If you have been enjoying this, go ahead and do myself a favor. Hit that like button down below. It goes a long way to supporting myself, and I cannot thank you guys enough for all that support. If you happen to be new to the channel, there is plenty of other gameplays and content to check out. I urge you to do so. And if you happen to enjoy what I'm throwing down, hit that subscribe button down below and pledge your allegiance to the God Zero Nation by doing so. You can also hit that notification bell while you're at it, so each and every time something brand new goes down on the channel, you guys get a sweet little notification to let you know what's what. In the description down below, you can find the SmackDown vs. Raw 2007 Season Mode playlist. <sighs> Holy shit, that is a mouthful. So if you've missed any episodes, feel free to catch up in your own time. And you'll also find social media links down there too, so if you don't follow me on Facebook and Twitter, Instagram, all those things yet, what are you waiting for? Go and do it. But that's it from me, guys. I'm out of here. And as always, I will catch you guys next time.